Hi, I am Sunil. I am placed in Cognizant through campus uh, placement from VIT University. I did my MS Software Engineering, a five-year integrated PG program in VIT. Yeah, I selected for Cognizant, Accenture and Wipro. I preferred Cognizant Technology Solutions and why? among the three uh, organizations because uh, as I got the news from my seniors and uh, also my relatives who are working on part of this IT industry for over 10 years that Cognizant provides uh, some sort of learning to the freshers such that it uh, makes them practical and real world technology. I am not telling that it, uh, the other companies won't provide but in Cognizant as a fresher you can learn more to uh, until 2 years which will gives you uh, which will completely transform you from campus to the corporate world and hence I chosen that. I prepared for the interview uh, right from the announcement from I got from the mail from Fax Center. I visited so many sites and basically I did a research on the companies which are coming over to the placement cell and I prepared according to that company wise because it helps the students uh, uh, to take the interview in a practical manner and what the questions they will ask in the interview based on the approach. Uh, I um, What my approach is that I Personally, I uh, had the facility that uh, my some of my relatives and seniors are in the in industry and I got some suggestions from them. I collected the uh, ongoing project information and also the company's for profile because it is very much important for an interview in an interview to know about the company's profile because the you can expect some such sort of questions from the HR so that it gives him that you are already uh, a little bit you are having a little bit knowledge about the company which you are attending for and you will be working on part of that organization. In my interview, actually, he started up with introduce yourself question, and I uh, answered it like apart from my name, and I started my personal informations and uh, also my hobbies regarding my personal education and all. As he already knows my name, I, I thought it was not required for him to mention again. And the, uh, coming to the technical part, they asked me about uh, programming languages and uh, also some sort of projects. And what I, uh, my, uh, as I already did my internship in a company, they also asked and for justified my answers according to their questions. The technical question exactly I remember they asked me how to swap two numbers without using a temporary variable. One can easily solve this answer by using a temporary variable, but as they asked me without using temporary variable, I just uh, uh, asked the interviewer whether I can solve it by using in two ways. Yes, uh, with his, uh, on this request he approached me and I did that according to my is The toughest question I felt in my interview was, he asked me and the finally, uh, while the interview was completed, he asked me, do you have any questions apart from what we have told in the pre-placement talk? This gives the uh, question that uh, he is expecting me to ask any kind of question about the organization which they haven't shared. And they, uh, the question which I ask, if uh, you are not uh, uh, that much reasoning and captivating in the pre-placement talk, me, it's better uh, to say no, no, no question. But if you have uh, any questions, and if they have uh, asked, uh, if they have. Uh, Told in the pre-placement talk, it will be somewhat like uh, it, it is directly telling him that I am not uh, aware of pre-placement talk in there. So I asked them about KT, which they will give after post the training in the organization. That means knowledge transfer. I asked him uh, uh, to explain me in detail about KT and how it will be benefited to me. And he did accordingly. On that day, I went in the formal trousers and with a full sleeved shirt and I with tuck and nicely shaved. And my body language before the interview was strict position, uh, sitting according and eye contact is must for an interviewer. Even he uh, turns his head and uh, delights you that, but don't never reflect your eyesight from his eyes. This is very much important and he. Obviously told in the last that your eye contact is necessary, your eye contact is good to me. And the finally as I already mentioned you that uh, the question which I asked them was Katie and he explained me and I thanked 
थिंग फॉर एनलाइटिंग मी ऑन नॉलेज ट्रांसफर नर्वसनेस इज ए एवरी वन चैलेंज टू ओवरकम नर्वसनेस बिकॉज नर्वसनेस कम्स फ्रॉम ऑल द वे बिफोर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर एन इंटरव्यू राइट फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग एंड नर्वसनेस कम फ्रॉम एन नेगेटिव थॉट्स because negative mindset uh, will give the nervousness first of all i i took the answers for my negative questions that means what if i am not chosen what if i am not selected the, those all questions for framing in my mind will give me nervousness i took answers for, for them accordingly and uh, i have all those answers in my mind so that there is no part to be nervous and so a very cool and prepared for interview went in as usually and the interviewer was also very friendly to me i advise them not to be nervousness before the interview while you enter the interview room and a uh, practical mindset with positive attitude and path tracking goals will obviously help every student or every final year graduate or anyone who is attending interview to uh, make a uh, good job impact on the interviewer and be prepared about the company's organization profile to little extent not much more than that and that gives you a positive attitude to the interviewer that you are uh, familiar with the organization and that may fetch you some kind of uh, positive results campus interaction helped me very much in inter- attending my interview uh, regarding right from my body language and uh, also the technical aspects i also got so many papers and uh, previous year questions such that the videos and motivation class uh, helped me uh, to give a path breaking interview in my interview VIT placement cell helped me very much right from the starting of my final year in getting me a lot of com- campus interviews on board with companies where well, it is a very uh, exciting opportunities are coming on my way and i didn't even uh, remember, uh, remember those company names at that uh, those many companies i have attended and it provided me a path breaking situation in such a way that to choose the companies which i have selected for it is very important uh, to note that i if i select for more than one company it will be like very happy situation and my uh, on, as a student uh, graduate i have the opportunity to select an organization to which i uh, i join for okay. studying in vit university is a very much uh, dream for every student i think and my dream got uh, settled with vit campus and uh, st- vit pro not only promotes the uh, campus placements also provides the students interactively and uh, student friendly atmosphere you can expect in vit right from my first year i started uh, as i started uh, gra- gradually growing up it uh, helped me in uh, growing in a professional manner and on part of my student education in the vit i am almost been here for 5 years in this span of 5 years i have developed so many skills not only from the classroom but also they helped me to build in a professional and uh, perfect manner such that i no need not to fear on stage and also while attending the interviews also while giving a seminars i have given a n number of pre- n number of presentations representing vit university in other universities by giving the paper presentations and all these kind of opportunities specifically vit provides to students are very much exciting and uh, it helps the students to build its professional career very much also they asked me regarding my strengths and weaknesses i told them uh, my strengths and also while coming to weaknesses initially i thought of uh, telling no but everyone will have their own weaknesses and i then told him the about my weakness is that i can give a presentation to n number of people sitting before me that means let it be 10 20 and 50 people before me i i don't fear and i don't have any kind of uh, fear or stage fear like and i can give the presentation to all the people but when coming to sing a song in before that same people i will be tensed this is my weakness and i told and the weakness part uh, you should be in such a way that it is not a weakness on comparing with to the audience